Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what happens if Arthur decides to be a peeping Tom and look through some windows in Valentine and Strawberry late at night. So this is honestly one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen, and I'm so glad Rockstar put this into the game, and there's actually three unique encounters that you can have as this. Two of them are in Valentine and one is in Strawberry. So let's start in Valentine and I'll show you guys the first interaction that happens right now. Ah, that's something you don't see every day. Guess he ain't such a big tough cowboy after all. Ah, oh, poor baby, did mama never hold you? I reckon she might have held him too much. We can't keep this to ourselves, it would be wrong. Hell no. The town has a right to know. Big Hank likes a spank. <laughs> uh, come on, let's go. I can't take any more of this. Uh. It's so damn funny, anyway. Well, I've been a bad boy again, Mama. A bad, bad boy. Yes, you have. Oh, well, don't go easy on them. I need to be taught a lesson. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Close the drapes. If you tell a soul, I swear I'll kill you. Thank you for the show. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, apparently Big Hank does indeed like a spank, and he gets rather upset, let's just say, when uh, you actually get caught watching what's going on. He ends up closing the blinds or closing the drapes and uh, gets super upset. Now, if you end up watching this, this will get you negative honor or you'll get dishonorable points. So be warned, if you do this, uh, it's going to affect your honor. Now, I wanted to see what would happen if we could actually get inside a place like this. You guys know I've been doing a lot of experiments like this recently where we've been attempting to get inside various locations that are traditionally locked away. So using our lantern and using our pistol, I wanted to see if I could get inside, and I did have success, but unfortunately there is nothing on the inside. At least the interior is not loaded. So I'm not sure if Rockstar specifically loaded in for like five or 10 seconds and then remove it, or if it's just not visible from the inside. I don't know, but I was successfully able to get in here. And the only thing that I could see were the drapes that he had actually closed on the inside. So again, kind of unfortunate, but uh, at least we were able to get on the inside there. Now, let's move on to our second location today, and that is in Strawberry. So, it's very similar what happens in Strawberry, but it's a completely different outcome. Take a listen to this right here. Oh shit, come on! This world's too peeping at anyway. What did I expect? Not again, you filthy pervert! Have an eye full of this! Oh shit! may have deserved that. So holy smokes, we got shot at. That lady pulled out the shotgun and instantly fired at us. And we got a wanted level as well. Like how crazy is that? So we didn't actually get a bounty or anything like that because I don't think they were able to identify who we were. And after the bounty subsided, we actually returned to the house and there is still a hole in the window from where she fired the shotgun. And I was thinking to myself, okay, we've got to be able to get inside this interior right here. And that's what I wanted to try. And once again, we had success. And that was awesome. 
So we were able to get inside. The first room she went into, like the one she actually goes to after she shoots at you, uh, there's actually nothing in there. However, there is like a full-blown interior for the room in which we actually catch her undressing. And uh, that has like a bed and some shelves and some drawers and dressers and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing like on the inside. You can't take anything from the drawers. So there's no provisions, no goods, no secrets, no letters, no nothing like that. But uh, it is still cool to get inside and check out this little area. And when I was trying to escape the house, I'm pretty sure I like broke the game as you guys can see here. I'm like underneath the map, but I'm like inside of the map. It's really, really strange. So again, do this at your own risk, but it was really fun to see that ultimately happen. And once again, the final and third outcome here occurs in the town of Valentine where Arthur comes across a couple that is trying their best, but clearly something is going on. to the wind, I reckon. Yeah, what is that thing they're smoking anyway? Beats me. Sure don't look like the back of... <laughs> Come on, mister. It's there on a plate. He's missing all the cues. Let's get out of here. Well, let's I see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light. And heavy at the same time. Have I told you what an amazing woman you are? Oh, but you are. Let us be free and wild and bad, my dear. Let us make love like love has never been made before. Uh, uh, let me take you to the flag. Well, that was pathetic for all of us. So once again, I thought these interactions were absolutely hysterical. Uh, according to the in-game strategy guide, those are the only three. I definitely thought the one in Strawberry was the most unique, where the lady like tries to shoot you and you actually have to run away and get wanted. So once again, if you're going to be peeping into people's windows, you want to do so at your own risk. And also know that it's going to come with some honor consequences as well. So keep that in mind if that's something that you want to do. Now, in case you guys are wondering if there was a honorable outcome to this situation, there is. Unfortunately, it's just not very fun. What Arthur has to do is actually antagonize the two guys that are looking through the window, and then he needs to not look through the window. So you can gain honor by antagonizing them, but you'll instantly lose the honor back if you actually look through the window. And if you continue to watch, you end up losing the most amount of honor. So this is something that if you are on a high honor playthrough, if you see as tempting as it might be, you might just want to skip out on this encounter. I don't know how much honor you lose. I don't think it's a ton, probably like five or 10 points. But again, as you saw in my playthrough, I, I literally dropped like a level of honor from doing this. So it does have a serious impact on your character's morality. And I almost wish Rockstar did this in more towns throughout the game. Like, I feel like this would have worked really well in San Denis or Rhodes or, uh, you know, any of the other big towns in the game. You could even do like Ansberg or Van Horn. Why Peeping Toms are limited to Valentine and Strawberry, I'm not sure. But uh, either way, this is probably one of the funniest uh, interactions and funniest sort of secret outcomes and encounters that I've had in Red Dead Redemption 2. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What would you have done in this situation? 
Would you have told those guys to go away or would you have done the same thing I did, look through the window and see what's going on? Let me know what you would have done in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.